everyone, it's your girl, hot girl, Koi. You already know the fuck going on. And this is Koi's Broke Ass Opinion, so keep your two cents because I don't want them. Today, I have my guest host, my producer, my brother, hey. my, my, my homeboy. <laughs> To my left, I have Mr. A. Goodman. You know he's always feeling. Godly. You already know what the fuck going on. Um, I wish I was in my cup, but I don't know what's in here. I don't well, got my don't wine. Dang, I don't got my wine today, y'all. I can't find it, but you know we're going to start with that tea that's coming up. So what kind of tea y'all got going on? Now nah, I'm good on that. What kind of tea y'all got going on? This is going to hop straight in there. Yeah. Hop straight What's the tea y'all got going on? I'm trying to check my accounts here. The check clear for me, then. Hey, hey, hey. I don't know if your account is in there. Hey, we are sponsored by Styles by Koya, but trust and believe, baby, we ain't making it like that yet. We sponsored? We are sponsored by Styles by Koya. You already know that. I got to talk to my lawyer about ain't, that. Ain't broke. Not broke as podcast say, uh, we ain't broke, though. Believe that. <laughs> we ain't broke. So tell me how y'all feeling? What's going on? I'm, I'm feeling good, Nisha, man. I'm so proud of you. You thank here you, on your you, show. You. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Brought to you by the Broke Ass Podcast Network, but it's your show. I really appreciate how you dive in the podcast. Yes. You yes. know what I'm saying? You Hold on, I gotta thing. get myself right because you know bad bitches step always. Yeah, you cut me yeah. off and you put a lip gloss on. This is the start of a great episode, ladies and <laughs> gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> but shout out to you, bitch. You don't just talk to shit. Thank I love you. you. You already know I'm proud of you. And I also I'm proud of the mother you are. Bro. Thank like, you. I love you for Thank that. Thank you. So, okay. I, I have to touch on it. Being that this is your first episode, I have seen you on the broadcast podcast. That is not oh, really? Wow, wow. Ah, bro. I have to know. I'm almost in the interviewer mode because it marvels me or what transpired. Mm-hmm. But the check ain't clear yet. We can't interview her. They got to pay more. Can't pay. interview This is my show. We can do whatever we want. This is just me I'm as a human. <laughs> He's saying got to pay me. Yeah, well, shout out to the Broke Ass Network, baby. Hey. But. Nah, go ahead. I just, many viewers may have heard it. And if you haven't heard it, check out the Broke Ass Podcast interview with Koya. But me as a parent. Tell him to talk loud. And nice everything. Story. I want to hear again that that testimony, cause that is like the most the most clutch shit ever. Mm-hmm. And you know what? I'm like I was saying earlier when we were talking about it. I really didn't think that it was really like I was doing nothing, you know. But until after, cause really after it happened, I was just telling everybody. Really, I was looking like I'm just tired of hearing about it, honestly. But then when, later, when I thought about what I really did. You know, me giving birth to my son naturally. And when I tell everybody the story, they're looking at me like, you didn't get a lawyer. And I'm thinking, I need that damn money. Like, what I need to go back because of how I have friends. Like, it's no way I should have been sent home. I should have been sent home. Not going win that lawsuit. Why wouldn't I? Yeah, that was that, not practice all day. Yeah, but I could have. No, that was an opinion. You could be two inches and then nine inches in a matter of minutes. You would not That's that true, lawsuit. but... But I could I could say that no, fuck I that wasn't lawsuit, treated right. Nah, Talk about the bread. fucking queen and the champion that you is to have the damn baby. <laughs> I mean, that's true, then I'm, 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 I'm no man to this. drop the baby at the house. I'm telling you right now, you're not gonna win that lawsuit. The I'm lawyer didn't cut my check, so you can't even win that lawsuit. I checked my account; it's not in there. Well, I'm about to walk out. It's coming. It's coming. I'm about to walk out. I'm gonna say <laughs> this: I wanted all the drugs for it to happen, but oh, the way it happened, the way it happened, I didn't have that. You know, I didn't have that. You did so, naturally. But the I people did, that but don't know, you went to. to the hospital. They sent you home two centimeters. Yes. An hour later, you had the baby. Yes. But that's still unpredictable. That's why you won't win that lawsuit. I'm just telling you. That's true. That's true. That is unpredictable. But if you, you want to be represented by the law, you had such an old law. OBGYN who also helped your mother deliver her first child, who was 35 oh my years God, old. Oh, bro. That nigga old. Then you, you should have got him. I with. did it. I did it. He was a doctor on call. Look, My daughter named the doctor. People, this is why we have to have insurance and everything so That's we can true. choose our own doctor. That's true. And Medicaid, if I they just give else, you a doctor I would have never do it, and they don't fucking care. And right now, at the point that I'm in my life, I don't want to have no more kids because of how that experience went. But I do want to have another child because I want that little girl. Of course I do. But I don't want to go through that right now because I'm traumatized. Yes, I do. I want a baby girl. Even you want another child already. Girl, already. You're 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 only three days. I didn't old. say right now. I would have had my son at the hospital, things probably would have been completely different than how it was when I had my son here. Facts. It was 18 degrees outside. My son went outside in nothing but some blankets and a hat. Thank God we had clothes. We didn't have shit here for him to put on. He could have died in that weather. I could have died in 
bad weather. Everything, so, no, you couldn't. Everything happened for Man, a reason. I feel like I was dying. Everything I don't care what nobody said. Everything happened for a reason. He was sitting here talking to me. I didn't know who he was, y'all. Nigga, you just had a whole life like, out of your body. It nigga. was it was You're surreal. not gonna be regular. Your life just it, you just gave life. World. Yeah. Okay, but since I just gave life, let's go ahead and jump into one of my topics. You it's know, hot say, girl summer is I'm, approaching. I thought we was here to spill the tea. We is on the tea. Broke ass Koya's opinion. Okay. I'm here to act like so, one of the girls. Number one, first of all, the tea. Is, Girl, where what the fuck you want this like summer? Don't nobody care about what these niggas got to say, what these hating ass bitches got to say. Where the fuck you want? Because I will. What you mean? Where would you want? Uh, if you want to step out here looking like a goddamn bitch off the pole. Like a sack? No, do. you want to step out here looking like a Sasquatch? A Sasquatch? And thong, Baby, if you want to uh, be like a sexy Sasquatch, do that. Hey, yo. All right. Boom. I'll get serious on you, probably. Yeah, here you go. Well, you have see. to know what comes with that. That's true. But And you have to know how to handle that. That's true. And a lot of women, a lot of women like that attention, but however, some of them choose to dress like that for themselves. I see. I and it's not for the that. attention. It's for but, them to feel it makes them feel better as a woman. It makes them feel confident. To put your titties out make you feel better as a woman. I don't, it's it's I, not I don't. about putting your titties out. It's about how they feel with them when they look oh, in the mirror. Oh, so they feel good enough to, to do that. Themselves. Yeah, because there's women that want to cut their titties off. Women oh, yeah. that want to get their shit yeah. done. Yeah. Women that want a whole new body. I used to think that look in the mirror when I was a little kid in middle school. Kids are mean. Kids are mean as hell. They are. Okay. Like, okay. And it's hard to build up to wanting to do that. And like, a lot of men look at women that dress that way and think, oh, she just wants some dick. No. No. I'm dressing like this because this is how I I'm finally able to step out the house looking like this. Yeah. Not feel scared. Not feel ashamed. Yeah. Not feel judged or worry about what the fuck somebody else is saying about me. This is how I feel how I want to dress. Fuck what you got to say. This is me and my life. So if, if other men will understand it and not think a bitch is just a hoe because of how she dressing or how she walks or carries herself it will be a lot of different Things going on in this world today. I feel that. I just hate the way when y'all are like men. Okay, well, let me not say men. Certain men. Certain men. Is different, right? Certain so, men. but you, we did this one time on the broke, but this is serious. Mm -hmm. So, it's still like the people you hang around in the places you go to encounter the creeps mm -hmm. like that. You know what and, I'm okay, saying? Okay, and because then that goes back to what I was telling you. Just because you hang out with hoes, does that make you a hoe? No. No, it doesn't. But I'm see. That's why I said I'll take it a, a level deeper. Like, I don't think you should just get half naked and go to the club that you know ain't no security gonna be there. Mm -hmm. That you know the thugs gonna be there. Mm -hmm. That you know this type of shit is gonna happen. Okay, and I feel what you're saying, but I feel like no woman is gonna walk somewhere where she don't feel. That's what. That's what I'm saying. You have to know what you're getting into when that's you true. wear that. But, but then, I, I never thought about it. Yeah. Like you said it, that we feel that the women feel so self confident yes. to put their titties out and mm -hmm. stuff like that, and they shouldn't be scrutinized or anything yeah. like that. But you got to think about what world we live in today. You turn on the TV right now, who you gonna see? You turn on your phone right now and look at a bitch on Instagram. Nah, I'm gonna say podcast. What you gonna see? Not your phone. Unless I go to Instagram. A regular video. dude's phone. What are you gonna see? Crazy. You gonna see a bitch with a fat ass, BBL. But, but uh, no. can I ask? Ah, I do. Well, I, I have been fair. All men don't like that shit. That's true. Most, all men don't like that shit. Most men don't like that shit. Most men don't like that shit. I love your body. Most, it's hard most men don't like that shit. Most men don't like that shit. I want to speak. We don't even like eyelashes. Cause we I, don't even like eyelashes. We're not so. doing this right now. <laughs> Y'all don't even want eyelashes. All right, listen. So you think we like a fucking BBL? I've been quiet. I've been, I've been hushed. This shit ain't even soft. I'm going to speak. Go ahead. I'm speaking on the common man. Mm -hmm. I, no, I ain't a common man. So he ain't too common. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm he's, he's rare. He's mm -hmm. different. Thought you were too, but I am. Speak for the common nigga. But I know there's a lot of brothers that empathize with this. You got them shesh marks. You got a little extra. Real men love that shit, bro. Right? That's true. We ain't ain't nobody's caring about what's in the Maxim magazine. We're not caring. Ten niggas said, "How old are you?" Again? Bro, he said, "Maxim oh. oh. magazine ain't even around no more." <laughs> <laughs> bro. 
Sports Illustrated on that shit, mm-hmm. bro. No. That's true. We never like any of that. But in regards Tangible. if they are appreciative of it, it is hard to find men like that. And then it's men out there that say they are appreciative of women that have these certain things that they don't like about themselves and they get with them and they boost them up and then whenever they get into an argument, the first thing they throw in their face. But, so then it's hard for us women to decipher, damn, does he oh, really now, we're like my body? Thing. Does he really like who I am? Does he really doing that or is he just saying that to get to my pants? You is should, he just saying that for me to believe this is the person he is? You should know though. Like well you my and that's, you, you, shouldn't know, you shouldn't know. You shouldn't know, but experience would teach you that. Yeah. Just because this nigga show me some love for one day. They don't mean no. It go for right. months in mm-hmm. time and shit like that. That's so true. So it's women that keep saying, "Oh, I should be, able, I shouldn't be judged for giving up the buns in one night." But me, so as a real nigga, mm-hmm. I'm judging you because why? I hit it but in why? one night. Because I hit it in one night. But I'm just not marrying you. Did you. That, just no, because no. you did that doesn't mean I let some other dude do that. Me, it doesn't. Because to me, a no. Woman but to somebody, the, to the nigga that see that, that and they could feel Ooh. that, like, hey, maybe we might have a connection, or it could just be shit. I mean, this nigga, he look fine. He got that. He got that big dick energy. I want it. I'm telling you. From I'm gonna get it. I'm telling you from the male perspective. Seventy five percent, at least. He on the first night. I don't want to marry that. That's gonna right, be a but, corny but shit. That's gonna every be a female, dude that's not used to every female still trying to get, trying to get a husband when she goes to the club. Neither I know that. They fine. have the but same all women want a husband. As men do. That's true. They're out here. Women are out here being their own husband. Great. They're trying to be their own husband because they ain't real niggas out here. And women, most women, they step over us because they put us into the group of all the men. Like. See the PBL on Instagram. You see this and that. Real, we don't. I don't want that shit, man. Mm-hmm. Can I say this as a husband? Okay. Then my wife want a BBL. I buy Pussy one. Pussy is I not want. gonna but get you, you the I do. I know that's kind of bad. Say Puss, again. Pussy is not gonna get you. Excuse me if I'm saying that. That's fine. We use those words here. But I mean, <laughs> it is a term if you look in the Webster's dictionary mm-hmm. for a female. Okay. Mm-hmm. It's called pussyliness. Hey, that boy was scientific with it. I like that. Put it's not going to get you in the eye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, take that she for She played with, with the soundboard. Oh, what was that? She played with the soundboard. We gonna take that out She played no, with the soundboard. Hey, you snorted me? <laughs> 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 we ain't going to be on your next show. What you going to do then? Don't do get into your topic. Don't do that. Get into your topic. I was listening no, to what Echo had to say. Pussy's not gonna get an I do out of it. That's true. That's a fact. But then it's, it's the things that come with the pussy that niggas that just want the pussy don't get to see. I tell you some real shit. If you can cook and your pussy is like half, like not mediocre, but not like you got a higher high probability of getting. But if that shit is just good enough, where he can get it when he wants, get some head when he wants, da da da. You can cook you when I'm hungry. You feed me. A nigga more enthused with that than. A bitch out here looking bad on stage. First of all, you have to realize niggas are insecure. Yeah. Most niggas can't handle Not bad a... bitches. Mm-hmm. They can't. Because they're going to go crazy. That's true. Shut up. My legs never fall down. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> and, and from what you just said, a lot of men can't handle bad bitches because a bad bitch is a woman that you cannot control. It's not a, it's a woman you cannot be little. It's a woman you cannot tell what to do. A bad it's bitch a is not an appearance. Herself. Uh, can we, it's an essence. That's not really. just it's, not her her. it's an essence. <laughs> that's not just she's a bad bitch. It's the essence of a bad bitch? Though, or a good woman. Niggas are scared. Of but why can a bad bitch be a good woman? This is what I'm feeling about. Because I'd rather her call herself a good woman than a bad bitch. And why can't the, the word bitch be a term it's of endearment? Why does it have to be? Because, because it's bad. cool when you because do I'm it. Because I'm not going to stop talking. I do it. It's fuck. Say it one more time, bro. One more time, girl. It's cool when y'all do it. It's a problem when I do it. I, I just rather not But see, that's the thing. Certain it's just like with white people. With different things. Say, you, I don't want to be called a nigga in I, reference to me. Bro, I don't care if we grew up all a okay, uh, whole 30 years, that. bro. I'm not cool with you calling me a nigga just because we have that familiarity. Mm-hmm. So if you don't want me to be called that by them, then why oh, am I going to use that? I'm not trying to outlaw the word nigga. I'm not trying to outlaw. Talk about bitch. Yeah. Yeah. 
But you know, some women do feel like, like bitch, I ain't your friend. Da, 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 da. Don't call me no bitch. But nah, sometimes it's like, it, hey, it's bitch. Da, 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 da. Hey, yo, if your woman call you a bitch, leave her. That's different. I, I would never leave call her. a man a leave bitch, her. especially leave in her. a state like that. Because These that's women don't know how to keep a man. And then it's all entertained. Inter- it's all intertwined because women, these women that are popular or whatever, they don't know how to keep their man. But then these women down here that know how to keep a man want to look emulate. like the Instagram emulate. model. Emulate. So that it, it's crazy how women are in a fucked up time. But we That's niggas true. is women. Like the hot, well, y'all, it's about to be a hot boy or something. <laughs> y'all, y'all don't ain't got the money and everything and realize. We need niggas. <laughs> <laughs> no, niggas don't We need niggas with money now. Right. Y'all need niggas. niggas with money I now. know, and that's what I said. You got the money and you still Here's realize what. you need niggas. Here's what <laughs> you God need the niggas. Whether he Here's broke, whether he whatever. If you want, you need yeah. niggas. But I don't need take. you. I can go to the store. Cap. I can go to the store. 100% cap. I don't cap. Need you, bro. That motherfucking shit you buy from the store don't got arms, legs, and grip, everything attached to it. So you can go get that shit and lie all you want on your first episode of your show. I thought you was being real and showing the people who you were on this I first am, episode. I Take am. your ass to the Listen, store and say, give me the sound effect back. This is air <laughs> What are you talking about? You can't buy a nigga off the shelf? Y'all niggas want real niggas, but they don't want... You don't want niggas to treat you like real niggas. Yes, we do. We do want y'all to be real with us, but it's hard to find a nigga that's really going to be real. Uh, it's not true. You're just not looking in the right places to find the nigga. So where are you supposed to look? This is true. Where oh, are you supposed oh, to look? Oh, all right. You not at the club. Hold on. Not at the club. Can't look at the grocery store. Let me get you can't look here. Where are you Let supposed to look at? It's the average Joe that you don't think is getting money. Of course. Because he shows up, he does sanitation every day. On everything. You know, on paper, you're prejudging. You're prejudging off of what the title is, not having a clue of what that brother's doing behind the scenes. Mm-hmm. Okay, so just so many women. Her talk, her so many good. women. I, I just okay, don't have any Because I'm going to go back into the corner. I'm going to go back into the corner. You got to command it. I'm going. I'm going back into the corner. I've been in the corner. Yeah, go ahead. I'm going back to the corner. You've been out of the corner about fifteen. I'm just talking. Nah, I'm, about, I'm sorry. But yeah, from from but what no. he just said, okay, we can bounce it up and switch up behavior. So what if we do pick that regular Joe dude and he end up treating us like shit, beating the shit out of us, and then That's we scared to pick that same story. type of nigga again because we scared to go for the same, and then we want women want to switch it up. And try to get something different so they go for this type of dude. And then it's a bad thing. So then we go to this other dude. And then you start to think, well, dang, is it me? What am I doing wrong? And they always say, the cupboard. where do you go from here? Where? What's the next thing to do? Like, So, y'all think about that. Y'all don't think about how you got to me. Y'all are so gung ho on getting the man. Instead of just scoping the man out and seeing how he is, like we do. Mm-hmm. Like when I said, yeah, okay, we take the chick down the first night. I did say we wouldn't want to marry her, but if we take her down the first night and then we get a relationship with her and mm-hmm. cool and shit, that might happen. But to me, shouldn't give up your pussy on the first night. You know what I'm saying? That's just out the gate. I don't yeah. care the connection because you're giving it up too easy. The pussy is special. Y'all, what's hurting y'all is y'all treating them the pussy like he got a price on it. Every, every, every the masses are treating hold the up, pussy like he got a price on it. No, I, listen, <laughs> listen. No, no. I said the masses. Come oh, on, Cardi B, yeah. Cardi B, Megan Thee Stallion, Nicki oh, Minaj, yeah. uh, Ice Spice. Shit, so, the realest bitch is the Scarlet. Can you use this? Get the fuck out of New York. Get the fuck out of here. Can I use this? Get the fuck off the pot. Can I use that analogy real quick? No, because then let me finish my shit. No, you are. I just want to interject for a second. And you can have it for again. This is why I love a good one. Mm-hmm. He go out of pot. Food like tastes that. better when you're hungry. Right. Cap. What you mean? What? Bro, you cap it. I don't want to hear it, bro. The whole mess. I'm not bro. eating bullshit food when food I'm hungry. I'm not better. eating this person that they think that you want to be with. And as y'all get as y'all get together. I'm about six months. And, and, and you gave him the bun. And you gave him the bun. And True. then you didn't like and that. Then he, so then what happened after that? We don't I get real on okay, the fucking listen, broke listen, ass listen. opinion. Okay, I didn't like it the first time. You're right. This but we did it again. No, I'm what, not, like, I'm not asking about that. What, what led to the breakup? Because you was with okay. him for three months, sex, 
Okay, so I think that relationship lasted for like a, uh, eight months, okay? So after that first time was bad, we did it again, and it was better. I just taught him what he needed to do. Okay, jump from that. Teach we me. met each other at work, and we had other mutual work, uh, mutual work couple that was our friends too, okay? He was cheating on me with the other girl, Oh, he cheated. From that. Were y'all swinging? But, see, the, no, we weren't swinging. But see, the thing was, the girl liked me, too. She Bro, liked why me too. you she laughing? Was it was a serious And, and me and the girl had kissed at that my was... party. We kissed my brother when my boyfriend was there. He was mad about the kiss, but he seen the kiss. You kissed the girl? Yeah, I kissed the girl. You know I'm gay. You, like you know it? I like these bitches, too. <laughs> Katie Perry. Hey, you know I like these bitches, too. Hey, hit me I up. You know I like these girl. bitches, too. Anyway, hey, um, so cool. yeah. Taste of it's her cherry chapstick. But no, yeah, I kissed her. You need to dap her up on it. Because she's living her truth. He's seen it. She's living her truth. This, this is what you're going to get on episode, I'm not coming dog. up here no more. I'm just going to say, make sure that you can't see that. He keeps asking what happened. I'm telling him what happened. No, but okay. you don't have to break. I asked him what happened after the sex to make you break up. I, you could have went right to cheating there. You didn't have to keep going to. But see, my thing is, this is real. This is Chloe's broadcast opinions. You want it to be real. I'm giving you the real. Okay. So he if it, hey, yo, if I tried hey, to air it out. I tried to air it out, and he wanted to make it seem like that I was being dramatic. Basically, gaslighting me is what the new generation calls it. But what to what it turns out, he's basically just a narcissist. Like, mm. everything oh, that I was wow. doing, he was that, looking back that, on me. Hey, yo, let me ask you know, this. He was doing let that dirt. This. This, I'm going to clip this. This is going to turn it up, right? Trying to make it seem I, like I'm going to clip it or I'm going to cut it. Right? Yes. Hey, yo. Yes. If his dick was bigger, would you bypass the cheating? <laughs> Hey, hey, Mr. Wiggins, we got to talk now. <laughs> Mr. Wiggins, we got to talk. I'm playing. But no. That's crazy. No, no, no. no. But from but from you asking me that, though, it's a lot of women that bro, will bro, bypass. Bro, was cool, bro. We was cool, Niggas cheating man. on you just because the dick is good. Girl, that dick is good. She got that dick. She got that dick. She got that dick. The community dick. Of course it's good. Everybody know. Well, I don't know where we went. I was like. Damn. No, did you hear what I said? No, no I didn't. You said. Hey, yo, I said from you asking me damn. that. If the dick was big, would I have still been with him? I said, you didn't ask that no, but it's a lot of women that do make that decision because it's good. And it's a woman that's out there riding that same dick because it's good. But you want to bypass that because it's coming home to you and you're doing the same thing. And then you're wondering why your pH fucked up. Why you got this? Why you got that? So baby over so here, all this shit going on. Like, I went to your you think about it, ladies. Do but you know what? We can pimp these niggas too with one thing about Whoa, it. Whoa, I am not even going to pimp it. But one thing about it, you don't have to do that. That's not what you, you want to do. You can pimp them niggas. You can't pimp real men, bro. Right, but a real like man, you should be not, put in bro, that real man is not like, what is a settle? Okay, so, what you know, so what is a settle down age? What is that? Ain't no settle down, bro. I've been married for right. That's what I'm saying. I so settled down when I was 19. I was at, uh, I'm different. I settled down when I was 19. So. I never broke up with my wife. Right. Never. That's why y'all my favorite couple. Right, so, so. It's men out there that have that woman at home not that men. take care not of, uh, take care of his ass, going to work every day, and still go out and cheat on that woman for some pussy. When you got the whole that? package at home. Nah, it's something missing. You, it it's always something missing. missing. It's yeah. always something missing. But see, then there's the thing, no if women are doing everything, like you said, cooking, no cleaning, providing, loving on him, listening to him, trying to do everything she can, and this man is just still not receiving it, what is it left for us to do? That's why women's minds get fucked up. Like, well, but damn, y'all always, I'm doing but, all this for this man. But women fail at communication because if you're feeling no, you're doing that. No, women do on. not fail. Y'all they do. They try to communicate all no, the time. No, y'all think y'all know but all But it's y'all don't know. men that do not want to talk or respond yeah, or try to communicate. I'm going to give you a secret right now. I'm going to give you a motherfucking secret right now. Y'all don't have the right approach with your communication. You want to communicate when you get bad and you want to talk about it when it's some shit we've been doing for a month. Let's compare it to the fucking sock you on the floor. It, you, you, you leave a dirty sock on the floor every time. You're like, ah, I picked oh. the sock up. Da, da, da. So at some point in time, y'all expect to pick the sock up. But y'all don't say that until a month after we don't pick the motherfucking sock up. You lazy motherfucker. You watch that. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, but you know why we don't send nothing for the whole month, though? See, communication. Yeah, I'm still talking. This. You're not communicating. All right, go I'm ahead. I'm trying to one line. Go, go ahead. Go ahead. Because I got something for you for that. Go ahead. No, no. You don't know what I'm about to say. How you got something? Because I'm, I'm going to See, ahead. this is how communication works, right? I'm trying to communicate with her. I'm trying to get my side across. She is telling me. She, she already knows what she's going to say and everything. And she don't even know what I'm about to say. She has a rebuttal. Because I have a response to what you already said. So keep going so I can finish my response. 
She was trying to make me forget. Well, you trying to make her forget. No, what I'm telling I'm you is, <laughs> the way my brain thinks, I'm going to listen to you multiple times. I might ask you a question again, but that's because in my head, I'm already getting my responses ready. I'm already thinking of what I want to say already to you. But see, also me as a woman, I fail with that because I think of what the first thing that comes to my mind, I say it. And I'm wrong for that. And sometimes it's the thing that's going to stab you. You know, and that's going to cut you to deep. Yeah, and then you, I think about it again, like I should not times. have done you that. You should think three times before but you sometimes, say anything. Like, like I said, sometimes whenever you're in the heat of the moment or when things are going on or even when you're just having a heat of like me and you. You can say some shit you don't mean to say, and you want to take it back like damn. Yeah, but, but it's kind of too late. That's true, I do. No, I say some shit and I apologize. I don't take. I, I don't do take apologize, back. but see, I'm, I'm talking about me. I don't take back. And I say shit. Like, God, I said it. My bad. I don't either. Because so, I said it, I meant it. But I'm going to tell you that I didn't mean to say it like me, that. Before you interrupt me. <laughs> y'all need to. I told y'all I was going to give you a secret. Uh-huh. Right? <laughs> So take this as joint. You mad at your man, right? I don't got no man. But I'm hypothetically, tell all the niggas. Okay. I'm no, single out here. Hit me up. You already know the fuck going on. Okay. Now, hypothetically, she she ain't single because she ain't even give up none of the places to hit her up at. Uh, but <laughs> inside joke. <laughs> but <laughs> y'all don't know how to communicate with me. What y'all need to do is learn how to watch the game with her. Boom. Now, if you got a problem, just throw it in there between Curry hitting the three. Oh, shit, you see Curry hitting that three? Now, baby, let, let, what you did yesterday, I really didn't like that shit. So now we're going to address it because we ready to get back to the game. So whatever you bring up right here, just a simple question. Don't make it an argument. Y'all always come in with, I'm right. See, y'all come with that I'm right energy. Just like you said, I know what you're about to say, so I'm about to what's the name and cut off my whole conversation. That proved my point that women do not know how to communicate with men. Vice versa. Too, bro. No, right. I know how to communicate with Vice versa. Women. It's not it's not true with me. I know how to communicate. I grew up with women. I know how they think. I know everything. I know when I'm bird is going to. Paul, see, I'm you say you know how we think. Because we don't know how y'all think. Yeah, I know. I know. Home. You, ain't, I grew up around women. All my. <laughs> but you act like all women are uniform though. They're I not grew up around. It's not. nothing but four types of people. Uh, let's see. No, okay, that? four types of people. Go ahead, because I need to hear it. What are they? Passive people, aggressive uh-huh. people, realistic people, and unrealistic. People. Okay, and what, what do you call yourself? Optimistic people. Mm-hmm. Would Come you, all of them. Would you You're consider all of optimistic, them. unrealistic? No, because I thought I, optimistic, optimistic was is the not, fourth one. You said pessimistic. That the opposite of that. Oh, one. I had to think of a name. Yeah, you, you right. said Let's go pessimistic, optimistic, unrealistic, and realistic. Yeah. yeah. All right. All right. All right. Yeah, all right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Now, now sure. you got me intrigued because I don't even know sure. nothing about this. Okay. If I wouldn't even can, know how to classify myself. You can tell a people person a person personality how in the way that they drive. Mm-hmm. I've heard you say that before. That's just funny. That, but it's true. People don't look at it like that, but you can tell. Like, somebody, true. okay, the light turning yellow. This nigga gas. Mm-hmm. Aggressive. <laughs> it's not aggressive. I'm taking the aggressive. That's it, though. I'm taking the chance. I'm being I'm realistic. Nigga, I'm late for work. This shit yellow. I'm trying to get by. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So then you got somebody that would see this car over here. Home. Sorry, you, dead. you can see people <laughs> hustling they be coming from over here. They be like, oh shit, let me take a break. But there's some people that be like, no, I'm gonna beat that car. Right. Or when people pull out in that's front of you, or aggressive. you on the highway going 80, but somebody just passed you, so you go 85. Mm-hmm. So you gotta I, pass I'll that. Celebrate that just, 90 degrees. Yeah, in the you can tell a person personality by the way they slow down to get anywhere. Okay, so from my point of view, I don't drive. Yes, I will, but I don't. So how would you be able to tell my? Tell me. Because driving you know, is all, you know me. driving is you. all about judgment. It don't matter how good you can drive. Paul Walker to. died in a car accident. Yes. Mm-hmm. Don't matter how good you can drive. Your driving is it all was, about judgment. Life is all about judgment. So what judgment you make on the road? Is assertiveness, to be honest. It's either that you're going to put yourself in that lane and you're going to get in front of this car, or you're going to sit back and you're going to wait and watch them go forward. Assertive is another word for aggressive. No, and I'm going to be. No, I'm, I'm going to be. I'm passive. I'm going to be safe and let them niggas go ahead. I'm going to make sure I'm good. I'm not trying to pass nobody. That's two I don't care four. if the shit is 50 miles an hour. That's if I can't see around four. this nigga, 
I can't what's the name. My homeboy said my homeboy said I went to pass the eighteen wheeler. Another eighteen wheeler was coming at you because you were just mad that the eighteen wheeler was going so slow. I don't care what kind of shit you put on that side, you're not gonna make it there no faster than five minutes. I swear. It's no but it's no what? reason to get anywhere five minutes faster unless you're the paramedic. This is true. It's just a fuck. Like I can tell, but that's the I can tell. I'm a great. I can tell how people are just based off their driving. I don't even know. I know how your whole life. Some is. people are passive. <laughs> some me. people are aggressive. Some people are risk takers, and some people are a little bit more calculous. No, that's all together though. I can be a risk taker and not be aggressive, and I can be calculative and be a risk taker. I'm the most calculative. I hate that word. Calculated. I don't think that calculative is not that. Calculative. No, it's calculated. And I feel it's calculated. I'm not going to say that. Calculative is an objective. objective. I don't care if it's not a word, you're not using it right. It's calculated. Thank you. Calculated, not calculated. No, calculative is before. Something a little more. Well, I think it's funny, honestly. Yeah, let's come Did y'all see. Oh, did y'all hear about the McDonald's having the 10 year olds work up there in Louisville? Had a what? 10 year olds working at McDonald's. Oh, yeah, you sent me that shit. I ain't looked at it. Yeah, y'all should have looked at it. They're well, working up there. Niggas to work. Work. But they 10 years old, though. Every really, 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 what, what they paying? Really what made it for the because I seen it real about it. Yes, in Louisville, Kentucky. And they were doing the best size on it. Working up to 2 a.m. at the McDonald's. It was hilarious to me. They, they, they up on TikTok at 2 o'clock right. when they on spring break. The man was like, yeah, yeah, I got these kids in there. Hey, y'all been there as a V-Bucks. You, you think about that shit. That's, well, that's never think that shit was just fake to get to be clicked on. That's just bullshit. Nah, that's probably no, real. No, you can't hire it. But see, my thing is, they weren't hired. They were being worked unpaid. Like a sweatshop. A modern day sweatshop. In America tonight. Yes. Nah, I don't believe it. It's possible. That's clickbait, bro. No way. Not yeah, happening. Not at McDonald's. McDonald's is a motherfucking certified establishment. That's not yeah. right now. Yeah, that's, that's clickbait. That's People have cool. to learn clickbait. This is why I hate watching yeah. podcasts sometimes. I clicked on a podcast that shit says Stephen A goes off on the ref. And then say nothing. Game. And it was nothing about <laughs> that shit. It was a Stephen A clip on It's crazy. I see that same thing. So video. people have to realize that's just like with fake outrage. Mm -hmm. Like niggas ain't mad at the teacher. No, it's something for you to click on. Right. That shit happens every day. So, That's what people have to realize is clickbait out here. And I'm trying to make as much good. clickbait material as I can. can. I ask so I'm tired person. of being I'm tired of being integral. And that he making up word, yeah. I'm making up one. <laughs> integral? That's I probably a word. I, right. <laughs> but I know what I said was a real word. Shout out to Indubrally Media, man. Shout you know out to y'all. Now we since we're in sources. this year of twenty twenty three, I know y'all done set some goals at the beginning of the year. Have you been working on them? Have you accomplished anything? What's going on with that? I have accomplished my job. Uh, a couple of them here and there. My rest of my year goes. Ah, that was a good question. I was, I was in bullshit mode. <laughs> my, my goal is get another car, mm -hmm. get my floor is fixed in my house, 10K in the bank at the end of the year. Definitely. Breaking well, it up. Potty train my son. That's a short time. I'm punching him in the face. Like, uh, <laughs> the hardest, he don't even want to see the potty. Like, bro, we just brought this shit. That's Put the right. stickers on it. It's black. <laughs> uh -uh. And this nigga no, says, no. Like, he don't. But what no. you might have to do is, you know, I seen that video on Facebook where they cut the little the hot dog off from the baby. I'm not doing that. Myself. You might gotta do that. No, see, Trump that's some woman bit. shit. That's some woman shit. No man Trump would Trump never Trump. do that shit, bro. You traumatized. No man would never do that shit. Uh-uh. Nah, he ain't gonna. Mm -mm. The best and way. You know, I don't even think up. about that baby, the, Lord Jesus. He probably thinking like, oh my god. That shit was edited too, bro. Like, the best gotta, method. It's the incentivizer. You got like that. Why am I like that, man? How you doing this nigga like that? Here, I got one, man. If you incentivize, get your shoulders to the party. It's just a word, to be honest. Episode one. This is what you got to live with. I got to look forward to that. I got a son, and whenever it's time to party train, his daddy will definitely be doing that. And I, we was talking about that. He's already looking for party. 
supposed to be a team. It is a team. It is not one. It is a team. It's not one. There's no purpose of getting a body. See, y'all young parents be doing Of course he's not one, but he's just saying he was looking at them, looking forward to that. You know, oh, they're gonna be advanced by then. By the time you get there, it's gonna be a chip, you pizza. You get them a potty, you get them simulated with them together. And they see you going through the motion, they'll go through the motion. No, Nisha said goals. What are your goals? See, you gotta have to get the show on track. Oh, gosh. Uh, It did go from you. Yes, your goals. Goals that you have set at the beginning of the year. Have you followed through with them? Have you changed them? What's going on? So, Carolina Culinary Cooks did very, very good. But Pause, and if you don't know about that, the food looks great. I need to get some of it. Amazing. <laughs> you know I don't know about the sound effects. But things have been going smooth over there. Things have been going real smooth. And that's allowed me to have a little extra time to start teaching, mm-hmm. substitute teaching. We ain't going back into teaching. We did a whole I'm not. I'm not trying. We're not to going do it. back into it, but you never did get to, to say um, what but you were my, going, what type of teacher you were going to be. My end game. Okay, I want to teach civics and economics, mm-hmm. and I want to be an athletic director someday. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying that I'm co- coming for Coach for Coach Fussell. He yeah, got me through the door. <laughs> got to give him me. a big shout out. Like. Me. He was really. Him we have a great. We have a great music teacher already. Like he's he's a dog. He's a dog. He's teaching middle schoolers and high schoolers at the same time. Um, so the Mr. kid, Dunn, if you take the kid's cell phone. Dunn. Mr. So if you Dunn take the kid's cell phone, and the girl walk up and hit you. Oh yeah. How yeah. you gonna react? Somebody you gonna, you gonna the swing on her and put it on the floor? Somebody get the principal. Bro. Okay. But like, there's no reason why any kid. There's no reason why any kid. Was a corny kid. joke, bro. I got it. I got the joke. No, no, that, no, that was me. You gave me the corny laugh. You got to do that with a joke. I felt like my joke was trash after that sound effect. Yeah. Damn it. But, uh, my bad, you always gonna keep getting serious, bro. I told you, YouTube. Yeah, bro. I, yeah, I told you because the studio gets serious. There's nothing wrong but with him wanting to kids, talk about bro. what he got going on in life. It's I love the kids, bro. Not I'm, for two I'm, episodes. I'm mainly in this Let for that the man kids. tell his truth. Neither did my joke. I'm just trying to. <laughs> I'm trying to speak <laughs> some black positivity, bro. That's Listen. right. That's what my show all about. Have you seen any white people up here? They coming though. I'm sorry. Hey, I got you. Yeah, nah. you know, but I'm white people coming head. soon on the broke ass podcast. Nah. Oh, this ain't broke. Hey, what's the old boy that we had on the um podcast? Shout out my nigga. You Corey. haven't even heard from him. Who, Corey? Yeah, Corey, that's my brother, bro. I Corey. definitely heard from Corey. Corey he got his own. He got his own business. He, he, got, business. Bad he bad. got a house with solar panels, Shout bro. Corey, I be bro. telling this nigga what my light bill is. He sent me his. His light bill is thirty one dollars. I'm trying to do that. His light bill is thirty one dollars because he got solar panels built in. House. He said he got a grant shit. Don't get me talking. Like, hey, listen, I got the white people on my side, bro. I'm about to turn this up, bro. Okay, so let's read the red again. Let's read the red. Since I know both of y'all are both happily married, right? Yes. Okay, okay, I'm not. So Is I that my anniversary, advice. bro? Yes. Just said, hey. Right, clap that shit up. Clap that shit up. 16 years. My wife said 15, but still. There you go. Okay, but what I was going to say was, you know, I'm not married, but I do aspire to be married and have my own little family, you know. Wow. So what, why? Because that's my all wow. my dream, you know. Oh, you Especially are, seeing my mother and my dad together for the time that I get did get to see them together. And seeing you and Christina, you know, I aspire to have a relationship like y'all, even though you did have it up and down. That's black love to me, you know, that's yeah. the goal for me. Yeah. That's what I see. That's what I want my child to have in it, it you know. That's, that's how I want to answer to yeah, that's what I want. So, right. so, what kind of tips do y'all have for somebody like me that's looking to find that? Because I am in that stage in my life where I do want to find that person that I'll be with, you know, forever. And I'm fine with that, you know. You not know, saying gonna, that it's going to be right now. Not saying it's going right. to be from two years from now. But I am looking forward to right. having that. So. You shouldn't want, I was about to say, you shouldn't want to do it too fast. Right. Don't worry about people's opinions. When it comes to you and your relationship, mm-hmm. don't worry about. Don't let them judge your character. Let the dude treat you bad. Then, come on, big brother, go, make the call. But so, just take your time with it. Make sure that that's exactly what you want. 
Because you're what, 23? Yeah, 23. I just turned 23. So you have a Aries season. You know the fuck going on. Anyway. So okay. when I was 23, I thought I was grown too. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. I'm about to be 35. So when did you meet my sister? I know my wife forever. Since we were like 12. What? See, I didn't know that. We literally used to play football together. What? In the yard. Yeah. Oh, you still got a little shot. Okay, okay. So from that, did you think y'all would have ever got married Never. at 12 years old? No. You probably could have seen Christina. They always had to wear dresses. Like, mm -hmm. they were religious. Like, they always had to wear dresses. They couldn't wear pants. Mm -hmm. So I knew on a chance of me hitting that. You know what I mean? <laughs> so for it to come back, brother, shout out to my mama, man. Mm -hmm. Like, yo, I told come my on, other tell, mama, Tell Aunt the Bird, story about how y'all met. I told Aunt Bird, I, like I said, we met when we were 12. I don't know. But well, when I was reconnected really with the relationship. When did it get real? I told yeah. Aunt Bird. This, I, everything happened for a reason. That's how I live my life. Yeah. Good or bad, everything happened for a reason. Told Aunt Bird, because Aunt Bird was, I had my mother sent you, but Aunt Bird was the home that I could talk to Aunt Bird about. Yeah. Girl. So I'm like, yo, I'm, I'm tired of hollering at bitches. I'm mm -hmm. tired of other bitches. I ain't hollering at no chick until they holler at me. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I was like 18. A week later, mom would text me, uh, Jeremy's sister wanna holler at you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, send me the picture. Uh -huh. I don't remember. Uh, yeah. Send me the picture. I'm like, I don't know. Her daddy crazy. <laughs> 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 hey, R.I.P. Mr. Ronnie, man. But Mr. Ronnie was a beast, bro. Like we'd be over there playing. Like one time we was over there, like I said, we met when we was like twelve. I'd be at Sean Willis' house. They said across the street. Mm -hmm. That was the whole creek, bro. We go to basketball, football, hot, sweat, seat, doing all that. Yeah. Like, that's crazy. That was the whole creek, bro. We go to basketball, football, hot, seat, doing crazy shit. And came outside one time. Hey! Jeremy, LaRonda, right there. We were there. We playing and shit. Hey! Let me look. Do I gotta call you by your name? And just dropped their head and went on. I'm like, oh, <laughs> shit. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. 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 And then we was having my yeah. birthday, birthday party mm -hmm. the next week. So yeah. I invited out for a birthday party. I remember this day, y'all, because yeah. I was in the middle of the floor busting it down. And <laughs> and my mother and my aunt Sydney had her corner just like how they have me, but they were like this. Yeah, right. This is yeah, right there in the corner. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah. then that that was it. Like the only way we took her home, I was like, see, I drink a lot, right? Mm -hmm. That gonna be a problem. Like, no. I was like, oh, oh. Season one. And then just be <laughs> conversations and shit like that. And I love my wife, bro. She's so real, she's me, bro. Like Man, you know how I proposed to my wife? Bro. I rolled over. I think we should no, get married. No, you did not. I think we should get married. She said, okay. No, we went bought the ring and we got married at the courthouse. That's really how you proposed to yeah, her? Absolutely. At Grandma really House, that. Jordan Trailer Park. But that's actually so sweet and cinematic. No, it's not. I'm about to say, like this just shows you don't need all that garbage. Right, that meant it was effortless. Yes. Right. She didn't want to have a wedding. She still don't want to spend the money to get the vibe. Right, that's real love. If you accept me, but that was two, that was like real. two years after being together. Mm -hmm. We done had a house, right. we got to get out of the house. Mm -hmm. She done cooked for me. Like, we grew together. So, like, yo, this is. So you that you was pregnant hopping through the window of the car because the window wouldn't roll up and like the door wouldn't open. Mm -hmm. That mercury cooking. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I remember yeah. those days. That, that's a ride yeah. or die. That's my baby. Ride or die. And we've been together ever since. Mm -hmm. Cause the day I met Christina, she was always so quiet, but I to this day, I would call my sister. And, and you she know she'll turn up by now, though. Yeah. Dead quiet. Tell that's, the people dead quiet as you feel. I love her. I love her. her. Let's something go down. Right. Okay. I always think back to this uh time when I was little and I I, I want out that here yeah, I Whenever I heard about uh it was a song, she got me in the headlock, she got me in the headlock. Um, <laughs> now I would tell this on your because it's your podcast. I gotta know what happened. Let me tell you this. I do not remember what happened. But I know I fucked up. I don't, what exactly, dad I don't know exactly what I did, but it was a long time ago, mm -hmm. like 12, it was a minute, but I think that was before Rory was here. She was mad, but she about to leave me, bro. And I begged in the yard crying, like, y'all don't. Don't leave me, girl. Yeah. I done fucked up a couple times, bro. I never cheated, but I done fucked up a couple times. Yeah, no, you don't play no game. She had me in the head like, hey, hey, shut up. 
<laughs> Shout out, Shell. Shelly, baby. That's my, I don't care if I don't talk to Shell for three months. That's my dog. I put a phone and he's like, Shout out, my dog. That's cool. We about to end, Nisha. How you gonna end your shit? Don't, end, don't steal my shit. You can't end it by giving a shout out. And you lack lust on the sound effects. I'm not good on the sound effects, y'all. That's not my thing. But, you know, I'm gonna have it right yeah. by the next episode. This has started episode, but yeah. I told her I'm gonna come over here and talk this shit. It's our first episode. What is it called? Broke ass opinions. Koi is broke ass opinions, so keep your two cents because I don't want it. Mm. And nobody knows that history, but it's because my shit was. Broke ass podcast, mm-hmm. little pop for two cents. Mm-hmm. But now it's the bro- keep your two cents. That's how I feel. But Nisha gave you a point and then what she gonna get to. This is gonna be a more woman based podcast and everything. Yes, coming for the ladies, you know. I get up here whenever y'all need a nigga opinion. Yes. I think my check clear. Where's my phone? Oh, you got this. You might got a little deposit. Check I think it's like I'm 10 cents. You, bro. I was supposed to walk you know off hours ago. Bro. No. I got 10 <laughs> cents for you. My nigga. Hey, we broke. We got money, though. Hey, yo, shout out my nigga Jimmy, man. Believe it now. What you going How you going your shit? I mean, it's hard to end the podcast. Yeah. You keep, you keep talking. This is, this is your show. This is your show. Well, I, mean, I, don't know, I don't know how to end it, y'all, but we will be back for another episode next week. Well, not we. It'll be me. I don't know who's going to be with me. Maybe y'all be my best friend, Didi. If she pay me again, Didi I'm Dine, here. You know, Didi the motherfucking gu- bubble guppy. You already want to know. Shout out to my best friend. Shout out to you, bitch. I love Bram, you. Bram, 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 she was like they're our child, you know, we're the child, you know. So I would never place a friend thing in the world. Um right. shout out to my other homegirls and Charlotte, so you know I love Nisha y'all. And her gay best friend on the on the show. He should be a Yes, host. he's not gay, he's bisexual. Let me let me correct that with oh my, my friend. God. Ain't you bisexual know? the shit ain't gay before bisexual. In order to be bisexual, you have to be gay. That's Don't true. Write the L. No, but there's you're not the you're not classifying it right. Then there's the B. So G comes before B. He wouldn't care. He, he wouldn't would care. care. He would not correct. He would care because he, he, he likes bro. pussy too. He's gonna care. I mean, that's fine. If I call him gay, he's not gonna correct me. I call him gay a couple times because he likes pussy too. That's fine. Just say you like pussy. That's gay. That still come with gay, bro. My bad. It's initial bias. So I'm gay because I like pussy too. You have to be gay before bisexual. I mean, no. You My don't. nigga, gay is same sex, right? Right. So if you go to both sex, you have to be gay first. No, you don't. My nigga. The G comes before the B. No, it don't. It's a my L-G-B-T. nigga. No, you can't just okay. What is the definition of homosexual? Hmm. Sleeping with the same sex, right? They call it gay, right? Okay. So to be gay, you have to what sleep. Is the to be bisexual, you have to sleep with the, the same sex the and the answer. other sex, right? You have to be but gay first. But said it has to be done in that order. You have to be gay first. No, you okay. don't. If you're sleeping with the same sex you're gay first first the g comes before the b now well in my experience it did not happen like that. <laughs> it's not no experience my nigga. yes it is no it ain't yes it is because i've always like girls but it's it, fine you always really being gay and sex now you strong. bisexual you always being gay now you bisexual you have to be gay before you're bisexual. I always like dudes. Oh, my Zim. God. You that's have to be gay before you're bisexual. If she like dudes primarily, it don't then matter. acquire the taste for girls later. I mean, a gay first. Like gay. No. Did she, she sleep with, with the woman first? No. Yes. Oh, I was about to say, it's no other. Come on, bro. Stop it. That means you gay. At that point, you are gay. I don't care about this identifying shit. I don't care about none of that. You have to be gay before you can be bisexual. You can't just say, I'm bisexual. Hey, I black. And we out.